Welcome to IAS Academy. Prior to the 2022 preliminary exam, we will cover 15 previous year MCQs daily in a video that is a total of 2500 plus MCQs before the exam. So, let's start the session. Our first question is, which one of the following ancient Indian records is the earliest royal order to preserve food grains to be utilized during crisis in the country? Options are Zogara Copper Plate, Rumindei Pillar Edicts of Ashoga, Prayaga Prashasti, Maroli Pillar Inscriptions of Chandra. The answer to this question is option A, Zogara Copper Plate. The earliest known Zogara Copper Plate was found at Zogara in Gorakhpur district of Uttar Pradesh and is supposed to be from the Mauryan period that mentions famine relief efforts. The inscription is written in Prakrit in Brahmi script and records a royal order that the grain stored in the granary should be carefully distributed. It is one of the very few pre-Ashoga Brahmi inscriptions in India. So here answer to this question is option A, Zogara copper plate. Question number 2. Who among the following streamline Maratha administration after Sambhaji? Options are Rajara, Balaji Vishwanath, Ganga Bhai and Nanaji Deshmukh. Here answer to this question is option B, Balaji Vishwanath. Sambhaji were succeeded by Rajara, Shahu, Shivaji II and Ramraja as empires. But Peshwa Balaji Vishwanath played a crucial role in final victory of Shahu by winning over almost all the Maratha Sardars to the side of Shahu. Under Bajraya 1, Maratha power reached a zenith. But that option is not given here. So best answer is Balaji Vishwanath. Balaji Vishwanath was the sixth Peshwa and the first in a series of hereditary Peshwas of Maratha empire. For his exemplary service to Chhatrapati Shahu in consolidating an empire and setting right many things in kingdom, he is called the second founder of Maratha state. He made the post Peshwa hereditary and is also known in history for making the position of Peshwa the most important and influential in Maratha administration. So here answer to this question is option B, Balaji Vishwanath. Question number 3. The Pona Pact in 1934 provided for option A, creation of dominion status for India. Option B, separate electorates for the Muslims. Option C, separate electorates for the Harijans. Option D, joint electorate with reservation for Harijans. The answer to this question is option D, joint electorate with reservation for Harijans. On August 1932, the British Prime Minister Ramsay MacDonald announced communal award which provided for separate electorates for the depressed classes. That is, the Muslims, the Europeans, the Sikhs, the Anglo-Indians and the Indian-based Christians. Mahatma Gandhi was bitterly opposed to the communal award as the award in continuum of constant effort of the British imperialists to divide Indian people into a number of special interest groups and to weaken the national movement. However, after a series of negotiations, both Gandhiji and Abdekar agreed to a solution called Pune Pact and thereby withdrawing separate electorate for depressed classes. In a settlement negotiated with Mahatma Gandhi, Amdekar agreed for depressed class candidates to be elected by a joint electorate. The Pune Pact was an agreement between M.K. Gandhi and B.R. Amdekar signed in the Yervada Central Chai, Pune, on September 24, 1932. So, here answer to this question is option D, joint electorate with reservation for Harijans. Question number 4, the ancient Indian play Mudrareksasa of Vichagatata has its subject on Options are a conflict between gods and demons of ancient Hindu lore, a romantic story of an Aryan prince and tribal woman, the story of the power struggle between two Aryans, the court introduced at the time of Chandragupta. The answer to this question is option D, the court introduced at the time of Chandragupta. The Mudrarekshasa, that is the signet of the minister, is a historical play in Sanskrit by Vishagadatta that narrates the ascent of the king Chandragupta Maurya to power in northern India. So her answer to this question is option D. Question number 5. The correct sequence of different layers of the atmosphere from the surface of the earth upward is Option A. Troposphere, Stratosphere, Ionosphere and Mesosphere Option B. Stratosphere, Troposphere, Ionosphere and Mesosphere Option C. Troposphere, Stratosphere, Mesosphere and Ionosphere Option D. Stratosphere, Troposphere, Mesosphere and Ionosphere. The answer to this question is Option C. The correct sequence of different layers of atmosphere from the surface of earth is Troposphere, Stratosphere, Mesosphere and Ionosphere. There are five layers in the structure of the atmosphere depending upon temperature. These layers are Troposphere, Stratosphere, Mesosphere, Thermosphere and Exosphere. The lower thermosphere is called Ionosphere. So here answer to this question is option C. Question number 6. Which one of the following sets of states benefits the most from Konkan Railway? Option A. Goa, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Kerala. Option B. Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. 
ഓപ്ഷൻ സി തമിഴ്നാട് കേരള ഗോവ ആൻഡ് മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഗുജറാത്ത് മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര ഗോവ ആൻഡ് തമിഴ്നാട് ഹി ആൻസർ ടു ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഇസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ ഗോവ കർണാടക മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര ആൻഡ് കേരള ദ കൊൺകൺ റെയിൽവേ ഈസ് റെയിൽവേ ഓപ്പറേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ദ കൊൺകൺ റെയിൽവേ കോർപ്പറേഷൻ വിത്ത് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഹെഡ് ക്വാർട്ടേഴ്സ് അറ്റ് സി ബി ഡി ബലാപൂർ ഇൻ മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര കൊൺകൺ റെയിൽവേ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് വിത്ത് പാർട്ട്ണർഷിപ്പ് ഓഫ് ത്രീ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മഹാരാഷ്ട്ര ഗോവ ആൻഡ് കർണാടക ആൻഡ് ഈക്വളിഷൻ ഡിവൈസസ് ദ സ്കൈ ബസ് ആൻഡ് റോൾ ഓൺ റോൾ ഓഫ് ആർ സെവറൽ of the railways innovations so the state of goa karnataka maharashtra and kerala benefits the most from konkan railway so here answer to this question is option a question number 7 for the first time in our country which of the following states has declared a particular butterfly as state butterfly options are arunachal pradesh himachal pradesh karnataka and maharashtra here answer to this question is option d maharashtra maharashtra is the first state in our country to have a state butterfly In June 2015, Maharashtra government has declared Blue Moron as the state butterfly. Recently, Arunachal Pradesh has approved to the large brightly colored Kaiser I hen, literally means emperor of India as the state butterfly. The Malabar banded peacock or the Buddha Mayori, which was declared the state butterfly of Kerala, will have a dedicated butterfly park in Kochi. Tamil Nadu has also declared Tamil Yuman as its state butterfly to symbolize its rich natural and cultural heritage. Other state to have state butterflies are Uttaragan, Common Peak, Karnataka, Southern Bird Wings. So here answer to this question is option D, Maharashtra. Question number 8. Which one of the following rights was described by Dr. B. R. Amdekar as the heart and soul of the constitution? Options are right to freedom of religion, right to property, right to equality, right to constitutional remedies. Here answer to this question is option D, right to constitutional remedies. Right to constitutional remedies under article 32 is a fundamental right. It was called the very soul of Indian constitution and very heart of it by Dr. B.R. Ramtheka. In other words, the right to get the fundamental rights protected is in itself a fundamental right. This makes the fundamental rights real. That's why Dr. B.R. Ramtheka called Article 32 as the most important article of the constitution, an article without which this constitution would be a nullity. The Supreme Court has ruled that Article 32 is a basic feature of the Constitution. Article 32 states that individuals have the right to approach the Supreme Court seeking enforcement of fundamental rights recognized by Constitution. So here answer to this question is option D, right to constitutional remedies. Question number 9, the global infrastructure facility is option A, ASEAN initiative to upgrade infrastructure in Asia and finance the credit from the Asian Development Bank. That is incorrect. Option B, World Bank collaboration that facilitates the preparation and structuring of complex infrastructure public-private partnership to enable mobilization of private sector and institutional investor capital. That is correct. So, the answer to this question is option B. The global infrastructure facility is a global open platform that facilitates the preparation and structuring of complex infrastructure public-private partnership to enable mobilization of private sector and institutional investor capital. The GIF platform coordinates and integrates the efforts of multilateral development banks, private sector investors and financiers, and governments interested in infrastructure investment in emerging markets and developing economies. It's an initiative of G20. So here answer to this question is option B. Question number 10. Which of the following statements best describes the term schemes for sustainable structuring of stressed assets? That is S4A. Option A, it's a procedure for considering ecological cost of developmental schemes formulated by the government. That is incorrect. Option B, it's a scheme of RBI for reworking the financial structure of big corporate entities facing genuine difficulties. That is correct. So, here answer to this question is option B. Debt recovery and restructuring of strategic debt are some of the main concerns of many corporate companies. The scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed assets was launched by RBI to address the large stressed assets of corporate sector. S4A scheme was launched on 2016 by the RBI as an initiative to address and resolve the debt issues of the corporate sector. So here answer to this question is option B. Question number 11. Ball bearings are used in bicycles, cars, etc. because of option A. The actual area of contact between the wheel and axle is increased. That is incorrect. Option B. The effective area of contact between the wheel and axle is increased. That is incorrect. Option C. The effective area of contact between the wheel and axle is reduced. That is correct. So, here answer to this question is option C. Ball bearings are used to reduce friction. And friction is directly proportional to effective surface area. 
So effective surface area is reduced, then friction will also be reduced. So here answer to this question is option C. Question number 12. Which of the following is or are the characteristics of Indian coal? Options are high ash contact, low sulfur contact, low ash fusion temperature. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Here answer to this question is option A, 1 and 2 only. That is high ash content and low sulfur content. Indian coals like any other Gondwana coals are of high ash content with difficult cleaning characteristics, which is due to the nature of formation of the coal deposits. In general, Indian coals are of drift origin. So Indian coals has high ash content and low calorific value. It has low sulfur and low phosphorus content, but high ash fusion temperature. In general, it contains less trace elements. So here answer to this question is option A, 1 and 2 only. Question number 13. Consider the following statements. Statement number 1. In tropical regions, Sika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmit dengue. That is correct. Statement number 2. Sexual transmission of Sika virus disease is possible. That is also correct. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option C. Both 1 and 2. In tropical regions, Sika virus disease is transmitted by the same mosquito that transmit things. ED species mosquitoes also spread chikungunya virus. So statement 1 is correct. Sika is transmitted through bites but can also occur through intrauterine infection. Sexual transmission of Sika virus disease is possible by having unprotected sex even if the infected person does not have symptoms at the time. So statement 2 is correct. It was the first identified in Sika forest. Uganda in 1947. There is no specific treatment or vaccine currently available to treat Sika virus disease. So here answer to this question is option C, both 1 and 2. Question number 14. Consider the following in respect of Indian Ocean Naval Symposium, that is IONS. Inaugural IONS was held in India in 2015 under the chairmanship of Indian Navy, that is incorrect. IONS is a voluntary initiative that seeks to increase maritime cooperation among navies of the littoral states of Indian Ocean region. That is correct. Which of the above statement is or are correct? Here answer to this question is option B to only. Recently, the 7th edition of Indian Ocean Naval Symposium was hosted by the French Navy at Réunion Island. It's a biennial event which was conceived by the Indian Navy in 2008. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The IONC is a voluntary and inclusive initiative that brings together navies of Indian Ocean region, littoral states to increase maritime cooperation and enhance regional security by providing inclusive and open forum for discussion of regionally relevant maritime issues. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It's also served to develop an effective response mechanism and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief against natural disasters. IONS includes 24 member nation that lies within the Indian Ocean region and 8 observer nations. So here answer to this question is option B, 2 only. Question number 15. Stiglitz Commission established by the President of the United Nations General Assembly was in the international news. The commission was supposed to deal with option A, the challenges posed by the impending global climate change and prepare a roadmap that is incorrect. Option B, the workings of the global financial systems and to explore ways and means to secure a more sustainable global order. That is correct. So here answer to this question is option B. Stiglitz Commission is a short name given for two commissions led by US economist Joseph E. Stiglitz. This commission had the aim of proposing necessary reforms in the world financial system that would prevent another event like the financial crisis of 2007. The report frames the Crisis as a part of series of simultaneous crises, those of energy crisis, food crisis, water scarcity and sustainability. So here answer to this question is option B. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We will continue with the next essay tomorrow.